After years of struggle, boom times are back in the U.S. auto industry. Every year, we take the pulse of America's top auto executives, their attitudes and opinions about the industry, and where they see it going. This year, confidence reigns. This is frankly a great time to be in the automotive industry. Um, the executives we spoke with, over 90% described the industry as either somewhat better or much better relative to the same time last year. And it's frankly not surprising why. Uh, with the double-digit sales growth that we've seen in the last few years, uh, the spate of great new product launches, as really the, the disciplined financial and operational management by which executives are driving their companies, you know, we're seeing record profitability. But even with this exuberance, many executives are still eyeing the future with caution. In a mature market, the double-digit growth of the last few years just isn't sustainable. And that's really the big question that's weighing on everybody's mind is, as demand plans, where do we go from here? The 2013 auto survey, done in partnership with Bloomberg, is full of insights that help answer this question. Executives expect overall vehicle sales growth of 1.4% from 2013 to 2017, well below the 10.1% pace of the last three years. Slower growth could intensify industry competition. 43% of auto executives predict more aggressive use of incentives. 46% expect OEMs to break ranks on incentives as early as this fall. Respondents see Hyundai, Volkswagen, BMW, and Ford continuing to gain market share in the next five years. They predict small market share losses for GM and larger losses for Subaru and Nissan. Confidence in alternative powertrains has dropped slightly. Respondents predict cars powered by electricity, natural gas, and other alternative power sources will represent 20% of total vehicle sales by 2020, down from 24% in the last year's survey. Executives also see government support as critical to alternative powertrain adoption. Without it, the 2020 penetration rate drops to only 12%. The bottom line? Times are good, but times are changing. Fast. So what does that mean? It means that at some point in the future, we will kind of have a, an average kind of volume. And to grow means it's, you're operating in a zero-sum game. You will have to take share from your competitors to grow. And that's going to be particularly challenging as the dynamics of the industry continue to, to evolve and more competitors and entrants enter this market. It's an exciting time for the U.S. auto industry, but as they say, nothing lasts forever. Auto executives must take bold steps now to ensure competitive position well into the future. For more on the implications of this year's survey for vehicle manufacturers and suppliers, visit strategyn.pwc.com.